person is very very closely associated to one political party or the other and that's what leads to so much of anger between them here as well officials struggled to contain all of this chaos as uh, you can see that vice rcp workers as well as tdp workers uh, went ahead and clashed outside a poll booth in kadappa it looks like it started off with some sort of argument or disagreement and then turned out into a fully blown fight as uh, the two uh, parties workers were seen uh, going ahead and bashing each other and uh, going ahead and trying to win uh, in uh, that clash of sorts. Uh, the officials had a tough time sorting it out. A lot of onlookers also came together to witness the galata. But finally, after a couple of minutes, things calmed down. Officials managed to separate the two warring factions and things go back to normal. understand that soon things only settled down after one of the officials were forced to go ahead and fire their gun in the air as a warning shot to in fact to go ahead and uh, ensure that these two uh, warring factions separated that all the galata came to an end uh, in fact it was the TDP candidates gunman who fired in the air to ensure that uh, things came to a calm and that all the chaos ended in fact soon after we saw both uh, the groups uh, separate and to go their respective ways. And uh, there was rockers uh, in Kadapa's Maidakuru district uh, constituency as well. The supporters of YSRCP uh, leader Raghuram Reddy smashed the windows of the TDP candidate's car. And this was uh, at uh, the Maidakuru uh, constituency. And as you can see there, uh, they damaged the car completely. It looks like they pelted stones at uh, uh, the windshield as well as the window glass and uh, completely shattered that. This is, of course, uh, in Maidakuru. So it looks like uh, in Kadapa district, quite a bit of uh, chaos is being witnessed. Uh, this is right after TDP workers and Vice RCP workers also clashed. So it looks like uh, the battle is definitely heated. It's not just between Chandra Babu Naida and Jagan Mohan Reddy, but every single leader, every single worker in these two parties seem to have decided that they are very much involved in this uh, battle. And on polling day, Quite a bit of Galata, quite a bit of chaos being witnessed. And this is just uh, two hours into voting. The officials uh, seem to be having quite a tough time controlling all this chaos. And hopefully, of course, uh, with some sort of uh, deployment of additional security, we will be looking at things coming under control. And uh, two incidents already coming to light there, both in fact in Kadappa. And uh, we do know, of course, in the past as well, we have seen uh, the kind of uh, clashes that take place here. Uh, there are a lot of YSRCP supporters and, of course, TDP supporters. And uh, politics here gets rather personal. Uh, so we have seen this in the past uh, where violence has broken out. But fortunately, of course, in both cases, things uh, did come to a calm. But the question is whether it will remain like this or will we see uh, more cases of violence that the security will try to ensure uh, uh, that they're fully prepared for uh, this kind of a uh, galata to ensure uh, that no more such incidents take place. It's bad enough that two have taken place on a voting day and uh, hopefully post this it will come to an end.
and uh, this is in Himachal Pradesh, one of the oldest voters and the first voter of uh, Himachal Pradesh and rightly recognized. Uh, so his uh, name of course is Negi and uh, he went ahead and cast uh, his vote. It is definitely very heartwarming to see senior citizens come out uh, despite uh, all their ailments, coming out and casting their vote. And in Himachal Pradesh, uh, a man identified as Negi, who is in fact the first uh, voter uh, of Himachal Pradesh, who is uh, the the honor of being the first one in that voters list has gone ahead and cast his vote of course he has seen generations of uh, elections but at uh, this time around also not missing the opportunity he came out and cast his vote he was even felicitated is what we understand but uh, definitely very heartwarming to see that so many people have come out in such large numbers in Himachal Pradesh जनता पार्टी की आ करके आए तो ठीक रहेगा आप मतदाताओं को क्या कहेंगे वोट डालना कितना जरूरी है आपने आज सबसे पहले यहाँ वोट डाला क्या मानते हैं बाकियों के लिए जब एक सत्तानवे वर्ष के बुजुर्ग डाल सकते हैं क्या युवाओं के लिए एक मोटिवेटिंग या प्रेरणा देगा हाँ इतना ओवर ए, ए, उबर पाते हुए भी लुट खुदाते हुए मैं आकर के वो अपना कर्तव्य निभा रहा हूँ वोट दे के जा रहा हूँ सब मतदाताओं से मेरी दुआ है कि कोई मतदाता खाली ना रहे सब आकर के अपना मतदान यहाँ अदा करें दे दे जैसा आपने कहा जनता पार्टी को मोदी को प्रधानमंत्री बनता देखना चाहते हैं इनकी सोरत काफी हो गई हम भी देखना चाहते हैं कि इनकी सोरत हमारे भारत में कितनी हमारे इलाके में कितना असफल होता है या असफल पहुंचाते हैं या फायदा पहुंचाते हैं किसकी बात कर रहे हैं अटल मोदी की भी बात कर रहा हूँ आप उनको प्रधानमंत्री बनता देखना चाहते हैं हाँ जी ठीक है थैंक यू 97 year old Shyam Negi there alongside his uh, wife going ahead and casting his uh, vote. Uh, in fact, he is India's first uh, voter and even earlier he went on to express nervousness over the fact that he would be coming out to cast his vote among all that media glare saying that he will rehearse exactly what he has to say. And uh, Shyam Negi there also being honored uh, by uh, the Himachal Pole panel for going ahead and uh, voting in uh, his in all 15 looks by elections a rare honor there and Shyam Negi stating that it is the most pious duty of every citizen of India to go ahead and cast his vote he is being felicitated by the Himachal poll panel also for uh, his uh, contributions to the country he has probably the most significant contribution to India more than any other person And uh, in all, uh, this is, of course, uh, the kind of uh, scenes we've been looking at come the eighth phase of uh, polling in all seven states going to polls. Uh, and as you can see, people have gathered in large numbers already in Simandra. Of course, it is a crucial uh, polls, uh, keeping in mind that this is after the bifurcation is between the TDP and the Vice RCP. Uttar Pradesh will see that key constituency of uh, Ameti in West Bengal. Of course, uh, this is uh, the seventh phase, a part of West Bengal going into polls. 
polls and uh, it could go either way several people stating of course that it will be the TMC and besides uh, that in Bihar there are some constituencies to look out for uh, the Asan Sol, Sasa Ram, uh, Sudan and other constituencies. Jammu and Kashmir breathing uh, the violence they have come out to cast their vote in huge numbers and of course in their Adun, it is a key elections so once again as insurgency is being braved to come out and cast their vote. And moving on, a woman had a miscarriage after she was hit by a car which was carrying former minister Umesh Kati's wife Sheila at Varur in Hubli on Friday. Well, the woman passed away today at Balaji Hospital in Hubli. The deceased has been identified as Pushpa Manjunath Chavan, who is 25 years old, of the Mandalaghati village in Kalagatagi Taluk, was six months pregnant. She was a garment factory employee and was returning home when the accident took place. After the accident, Pushpa was taken to Kim's by Sheila. Very unfortunate incident there. It is understood that Umesh Kati's wife, Sheila, was traveling in a car when her car, in fact, hit Pushpa. Pushpa was six months pregnant. She was 25 years old. But soon after, she was rushed to the hospital by Sheila herself. Uh, and the 25-year-old had a miscarriage immediately. And fortunately, uh, unfortunately, of course, she passed away uh, today as well. It is understood that she had suffered grievous injuries uh, due to this particular accident. Accident.